up everybody it's your boy the smart sneakerhead in the house coming with another vid before we get started please hit that thumbs up subscribe comment share i truly appreciate it this is my last video of the day i've done about five videos today i am done i'm going to relax i'm going to enjoy the nice weather outside but another discussion video and i thought it'd be pretty fun to share with you guys and get your opinion this video is about features on kicks that we love but are completely useless. The idea for this video actually came when I rocked these, these AirTech Challenge 2 pinstripes, um, AKA French Open number twos in my opinion. Um, I was wearing these the other day and the liner is leather, which is dope. How many things, and you can let me know down below, what are things that you absolutely love on sneakers but are either annoying or useless. I'll tell you a couple of mine. Number one, leather liner. It's a really nice touch. For certain shoes, it does add a certain level of comfort to it, but it's useless because you, no one really notices it. Who really notices the inside of a shoe? And it's a bit annoying. Like I said, it squeaks. Certain leather squeaks when you wear certain socks, and it is super, super annoying. So that's one of the, the features that as much as I love it, it's useless. Continuing on the end of the shoe, the insole. We see this so many times. We're like, oh, this insole is dope. Even the pinstripes, the fact that it has the pinstripes throughout, that's a dope touch, etc. But it's useless. You never see the insole unless we take it out on one of, a, one of my vids or any of the other Sneakerhead channel vids. And that's something that we absolutely love when we have a dope insole to go with a dope shoe, like uh, the sock and the, um, the ice cream pack. Everybody loved the insole because it looked like a waffle cone ice cream, but you never see it. You know, There was one picture in the sneakerhead group that I'm in on Facebook where this kid put up the N7 Jordan 7s that were canceled. <laughs> and it says right there, he asked, why is there nothing on the insole? Because it was just that sky blue and so I'll put a picture up here I said it doesn't matter to me I mean yes you're usually used to seeing the Jordan logo or whatever it either fades or peels in over time and no one sees it unless your shoe is off or you take it out so that's one feature again that I love but it is but it's kind of useless um, I guess you could say another feature that I like on kicks but again is useless are glow-in-the-dark outsoles I love when I have kicks with glow in the dark outsole. Like the obsidian foams I had, those didn't come with a glow in the dark outsole. And all I was saying was, man, these would have been dope if they had a glow in the dark outsole. But the problem is, how many of us really have the opportunity to show that feature? Most of the time, wearing kicks during the day. At nighttime, we're not around light long enough where we can see the glow in the dark feature. So unless you take sneaker shots like I'm starting to get into or some of these other big time sneaker photographers like Andy Diaz and the whole sharpshooters team take you're never gonna see the glow in the dark feature work on a shoot but it is something that we all love and in many cases we must have on a pair of kicks the Yeezys for example love the glow of the dark bottoms but how many times will you see it the Northern Light SBs that came out. Love the glow in the dark bottoms, but how many times will you see it? You know, the, the Yeezy foams. How many times will you see, how many times will you see that glow in the dark bottom work? Never. I have a pair of Kobe 9 Elite uh, Cape Crusader Nike IDs I made with this dope blue glow in the dark outsole. Other than me taking the pictures for it, never see the outsole glow in the dark. So that's another feature on a kick that's useless but that's something that I love to have on a shoe so I could go on and on same thing with uh you know lace tips some people are like oh it has the, the, the metal lace tips or the gold lace tips it's a nice touch but honestly is it that big of a deal is it a must for shoes no but that's you know something else that we all love to have so let me know down below if there's any other sneaker feature accessory um, material that you love but in your opinion is useless or pointless to have I just thought I'd share this fun topic with you guys so please comment I'll try to reply back down below 
And with that being said, it's your boy, this my sneakerhead, and my brother is out. Peace.